Hi guys, welcome back to Drink Tutorials. Uh, today I'm gonna teach you how to make a gin fizz. Uh, the short history on the gin fizz was that it first made its uh, appearance in the Bon Vivant's Guide by Jerry Thomas that was published in 1862. Uh, so it was around somewhere between then. But to tell you the truth, there are so many different variations that came between the 1860s and the 1900s that it's really impossible to uh, figure out where it actually came from. Uh, it's an egg white drink. And I know that a lot of times people get freaked out because we're putting egg white into something, but I just want you to rest assured that when you put egg white into citrus, the citrus cooks the egg and there is absolutely no more bacteria. So you don't have to freak out about anything. And this is a really delicious drink. So you take one egg and you crack it into the big tin. The reason why you wanna crack it into the big tin is because you're gonna put alcohol into everything else and you wanna mix these things separately so that you don't mess up your drink. Okay, we're just gonna set that aside somewhere. Some predetermined, you know what? Let's do this. Let's set it aside there and we'll put this here. Ah, better. Uh, and then I gotta, I forgot my jigger. All right, cool. Jigger, you're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup, three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, and then a full two ounces, one and a half to two ounces, depending on how strong you want it, of gin. Now, the second thing that we're gonna do here is what I call the 10-10-10 rule. Basically, what you wanna do is when you mix this with this, right, which is the spirits and the lemon mixture and sugar mixture with the uh, egg white, you wanna actually let it sit for 10 seconds. If you let it sit for 10 seconds, then you'll get the citric acid starting to kind of work on the egg. And then when you go to dry shake it, which is what we're gonna do next, then you'll get a really good emulsification. You really want to get a really nice, good foam on this particular drink. So that was about 10 seconds. We're gonna dry shake. And you dry shake this for about 10 seconds as well. You can do Mississippi's if you want, or you can do it shorter. Uh, just roughly 10 seconds. And we're gonna open it. And then we're gonna add ice. And this is where our second 10 comes, or our third 10 comes in. I like to mix my ice separately. So when you add the ice, you're gonna hear it crack. And if you start to shake it right away, the ice is gonna break apart. And you wanna make sure to try and keep as much of a solid block as possible. So I let it sit for 10 seconds because what happens is, is that when ice cracks, if you let it sit for 10 seconds, it will refuse itself. And then you'll be shaking with it. And there is a possibility that it will, that it will crack again, but you don't wanna have ice shards in your drink because that will over dilute. So that was about 10 seconds. We're gonna shake it. And then a nice hard shake. excess into the drink. And then honestly, I am unprepared for this entire presentation, that's okay. Um, so I am gonna double strain it anyway. And the reason why I wanna double strain it is just because we uh, let it sit, we still might have some shards in there and I really wanna keep those shards out. So we pour it through a strainer. And then the last piece. Soda water. You wanna have the soda water be very, very cold because this drink has absolutely no ice content. It is chilled solely from the, from the block that you put in it and, and this soda, however cold it is. And there you have it. Gin fizz.